One of the things that we really took a lot of effort to decide on what we were going to do uh, when we thought about restoring the Cheshire Williams house, which we think was early 1800s, was what period of time did we want to replicate? Uh, as most homes have it, there's uh, a span of time that the families live in it, and there's a span of time that activities had. One of the unique features about this house is, is not only was it early frontier Gwinnett, but it also saw the transition of technology. So when the artist was here, it was frontier Gwinnett. One of the things that makes this house so valuable is the art. And we've talked extensively about the art, uh, but we've also academically studied the art. Uh, this art has been published in several ac academic publications, several magazines around art. But if you want to think about how rare the art is, it's this uh, right here in Gwinnett County is the last remaining art of its kind that we know about. Uh, and it's been published perhaps the last remaining of its kind in the southeast uh, of a collection this big and a collection of this uh, size and magnitude. Uh, to have rooms like this um, painted is almost uh, inimaginable to think about it. Another unique feature about the, the artwork are the vibrant colors. And I always tell people, could you imagine trying to be out on a Sunday in your buggy ride and you came upon this house. Uh, it would have been so unique of the period that uh, most things would have been washed just by weather or they would have been whitewashed. So to come upon this out in Frontier Gwinnett would have just been amazing. I can just imagine people just sitting in awe just looking at it.